Well guys, I was just at Aldi to do our grocery shopping and I always had a look at these rechargeable batteries here. They have these ac active, active, active energy in a four pack for $5.99. This is double A Mignon size. Apparently they have 2100 milliampere hours and are nickel metal hydrate batteries. Ready to use, so they must be pre-charged. Powerful performance, extra long life, high quality it says. And they come in two sizes, triple A and double A. So I bought one of these packs for $5.99 and we will put them now into the tester here in our little Carla and measure the capacity of these cells. Of course, this is all charged from solar power. Let's put them in and set this one to no test. 500 milliamp should be fine. And then we test every single cell individually. All right, they are all testing now. So what the tester does, it, it fully charges the battery and then discharges it again and measures the capacity and then fully recharge again. So it measures the capacity while discharging, not the other way around. There is another mode you can set it to so it measures the capacity while charging. But I think this is a bit misleading because you always have losses, heat losses and uh, chemical losses inside the battery cell. And whatever you put into the battery, you never get out. But if you measure it while you discharge the battery, you will always have the capacity you can actually use in your application. All right, so this will take about five, six, seven, eight hours or now, I don't know. And I'll let you know how we go. All four batteries have already started discharging. You can see the counter here. And uh, so this means after half an hour the battery started discharging, so it must have been almost full. So they actually kept their promise that the battery is ready to use out of the box. It was almost full. All right, it is, it is, uh, I don't have a watch, I don't know. It's about nine o'clock or so. So the, oh, it should be ready by now. It is. See the end symbol is flashing here. That means that it has fully discharged the battery and it's now charging again. So battery number one has only 1537 milliampere hours and not the promised 2100. Number two, 1604. Number three, 1556. And number four, 1610. So this is far away from 2100 as advertised. That's not good, Aldi. That's not what I paid for. Okay, I would say we try again tomorrow and see if we come to the same results. I will write them down so we can compare the second charge cycle. But it shouldn't really matter with these nickel metal hydrate batteries because they don't have any memory effect. So you don't need to cycle them to get to full capacity or something. They should be working from one charge on correctly. Don't buy the Aldi Active Energy batteries. You get only 16... 1610 is the maximum I can get out of this cell here. That is very disappointing. Considering we are using 250 milliamps of discharge current, which is one-tenth of a C. So it should actually have more capacity than 2100. Okay, we try again tomorrow and see what the second results are. Okay, so we have now fully charged these batteries overnight. The end symbol is not blinking anymore. Yep, they're all charged to 1.5 volts. All right, I'm writing down these capacities now and then we do another test with this device. And I also have another capacity meter, capacity tester here, which I will test afterwards the batteries with, just to have a second opinion, you know.
So I just checked Wikipedia and it says uh, nickel metal hydride batteries or cells uh, are being charged to 1.45 volts. And this is exactly what we see here with my automatic charger, 1.45. And then it starts discharging as it did with the other cells already. See, they are all counting the milliamps. They are discharging. This one is not because I've just reset it. Wanted to see how high the voltage actually goes but 1.45 is perfect. All right, guys. So this is the second round of measuring the capacities of these batteries here. I've written this down and it's fairly consistent to the first round we had. I also had took battery number two and put this in my other tester here, which is already done. And we got 1526 out of it. 15, which is a little bit less than before. So, nevertheless, clearly these batteries don't have 2100 milliampere hours. And I also realized something here it's LGA tested, quality, safety, production, controlled. All the W's LGA.info and there's an ID number. Ah, interesting. LGA.info goes to the TÜV Rheinland, which uh, is the institution in Germany which does all the certificates for safety and quality standards worldwide. Uh, search item. Okay, let me type in this number there. Oh god, this is so small. All right. Let's see. Okay, we're coming to the Medion AG quality management battery cell MD 14511522. Yep, that's exactly the same label as on the box here. Uh, and then the certificates, and then we can view the certificates, certificate number. Battery cell. There are no technical specs in here at all. Okay, page number two. Uh, no, this is all the basic testing and certification requirements are based on current customer requirement and wishes, as well as long-term experience in the quality assurance. Well, the product doesn't meet the quality or your advertising on the box here. Okay, this does not help either. I will get in contact with Aldi and see what we can find out about these battery cells and why they are wrong labeled with 2100 milliampere hours and also did some research you you don't need to cycle these cells here like nic nickel cadmium batteries the old style batteries which um, needed a few cycles until they got the full capacity this is not necessary with nickel metal hydride batteries anymore so i don't know this is definitely very disappointing i will give them all the test results I discharged the batteries or I, ch I charged the batteries to 1.45 volts and then discharged to 1 volt and this is the measurement I got out of it two cycles and this battery even with a different tester. Yeah guys, I'll keep you up to date with this one here. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Yeah, something I do as well here in the off-grid garage. I test batteries, I test electronics, and if they are not up to the standard or up to what is advertised, promised, I'll get back to the manufacturer and claim this as a misleading advertising or labeling. So let's see what Aldi says about their own batteries. That's not good. Mm -hmm.